Hi, my name's Rowan and this is my channel, The Yorkshire Sew Girl. Thank you for joining me today. I am feeling a lot better, so I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who watched my last video when I'd been suffering a little bit, uh, when I'd been away with a tummy bug and all sorts of stuff. Um, so I just wanted to say thank you because loads of people um, commented on my um, vlog to say get better soon. I just haven't had a chance to go through and reply to everybody just yet. So that is a job I need to get on with because I've been a bit lacking in that department. I am very aware of that. So I need to get back up to date. So I will be replying to comments soon, hopefully. But yeah, I just wanted to say thank you because everybody was really, really lovely. Um, what am I doing today then? I'm going to do a bit of a plans video. Now, I know I don't normally do like the monthly plans, but this is kind of a plans video with a bit of a twist kind of thing. And the reason it's got a bit of a twist is because, as you are aware, I have subscription boxes. I've recently started receiving the So Hayley Jane subscription box um, as a lovely gift from Hayley, which is really nice because she missed my unboxing videos. And I also get the Think Pink subscription box from Beyond the Pink Door. So I, from now on, are gonna, I'm going to be getting two lots of fabric per month <clears throat> through my post box. And I don't know about you, but if you have subscription boxes, sometimes you absolutely love the fabric and then you pop it away in your stash and then you don't make it that month and then it becomes more and more in your stash. And that was kind of starting to overwhelm me um, a little while ago. So I'm kind of thinking, do you know what? I want to try and get back on track with my subscription box fabrics because I love them. And... I know I've kind of talked to you guys before about the fact that I know a lot of people are a bit nervous about subscription boxes because they get fabric that they're not too sure about. But I'm kind of saying to myself, I really want to push myself out of my comfort zone and have a go with some fabrics that I maybe wouldn't do normally as well. And I'm aware that I will be getting, like I say, a couple every month. So I want to try and get on top of some of the fabrics that I've already got in my stash that are from subscription boxes. So I've kind of challenged myself. <laughs> it's just a little challenge of my own. You can join in with me if you so wish. Um, maybe I should start like a little hashtag subscription box makes or something like that. But yeah, I decided that I was going to go through my stash just here and pick out some of my subscription box fabrics. And that's the only kind of fabrics I was going to plan with for a little short while. Now, I do have other makes that I do. I do quite a lot with my girls, the Northern Soul Sisters and things like that, which will all be kept separate. This is kind of what I would be doing for myself so I thought it'd be really good to go through have a look and try and match it up with some nice patterns that I think would be lovely for the summer months now in the UK at the moment it's hot it's really muggy today really hot muggy that's why I've got my hair just shoved up um but yeah it's really warm at the moment and I think I might have mentioned in one of my previous videos that I'm struggling with nice things to wear to work that are nice soft flowy so some of it has got a bit of theme to that as well. But I thought it might be quite cute to kind of do this and maybe challenge you to do the same with your subscription box fabrics if you do have any. I know not everybody does, so. Shall we start with my most recent subscription box fabrics? Maybe that's what we should do. So I recently, you'll have seen on my last video, unboxed this beautiful viscose twill from So Hayley Jane, which I love. Now, the other thing is if you've seen my vlog on going and having my colours done, here is my little book. I have it handy all the time with all my colours in it. Um, I went through and pulled out all my fabrics and tried to pick ones as well that I thought were good for my colouring and for the analysis that I'd had done. So you will see in this fabric, there's, there's lots of the creams and browns and black base, which is all in my colouring. So I thought that would be a really good one. Even this like real pale yellowy cream is actually in my colours, which I thought was quite interesting. If you can see here and here, look, oh, sorry, the colours, the, uh, the light shining on it. So you can see a lot of my colours are in this fabric. So I was like, that's great. And I was thinking it's quite like a boho type style fabric. It's just got the most beautiful feel to it. So I dug through my patterns um, and I picked this one. Now, this is the Spring Dress by Nina Lee. You'll see a £2 sticker on that. And that's because I got this from my local recycle yard. We have a, a little shop in Osset that you can donate things to. I've donated loads of patterns in the past and all sorts of stuff. And then you can buy it pretty cheap. 
Um, so I saw this in there and the reason that I picked this up is I actually do have this already. It was free in a magazine ages ago and I don't know if you remember but everybody went wild for it. And I have actually made this dress up and it's gorgeous but it's too small for me. I need to get in the real world and accept that it's too small for me. Um, and I did cut the pattern, I didn't trace it. <laughs> because that's when I got thin and cocky and was like, I ain't ever going back. <laughs> How many times have I said that in my life? I need to know myself a little bit better. So when I saw this, I grabbed it straight away because I think you can get this on like eBay and Etsy, but this is a Nina Lee pattern and she doesn't sell this on her website. It was only free in a magazine. I'm very surprised she hasn't actually brought this out as a PDF pattern, to be honest. But anyway, she hasn't. As a result of that, though, the sizing is a little bit limited. So it goes from a UK 6 to 22, which is a bust of 48, waist of 40 and a hips of 49 and a half. So not too bad, but not the best. Um, yeah, so I've got a fresh copy of this to do it. And I'm going to make it with this fabric because I think the style of it with the little strings coming down at the front and the tears would match that perfectly and that would be really nice i think for work and for um just at home and i'm thinking how nice during the day maybe with some little gold sandals really nice you know on holiday maybe in the evening or in the winter black tights chunky boots bish bash bosh someone said the other day you say bish bash bosh a lot <laughs> i do don't i Oh, do you want to know what I'm wearing? You've probably have seen this on another one. This is my Donny shirt. Uh, this is my Donny shirt by Friday Pattern Company in like a cotton blend fabric that I got from B&M Fabrics in Leeds when I went with my girls not so long ago. And I love it. I used it because it was a scrap piece of fabric that I had just to see what the sizing and everything was like. And I actually have it out on my table at the moment ready to cut some more out because I love it. Okay what next so let's choose i think pink subscription box one now now a couple of i don't think this wasn't last month's but the months before was it i can't remember anyway there was three colorways of this one and i got this colorway and i love it beautiful and again these are all my colors so in it it's got kind of a chocolate brown it's got like that beigey yellowy color as well it's on a white base it's got like this rust colour in it. I got my little book out. I got my little book out and there was all the colours in this. And I was like, that is perfect. And again, I think that would be lovely with some metallic gold sandals for the summer. But I'm going to make this for work, I think. But I could also wear it outside uh, of work as well. And I'm going to make my favourite. I'm boring. I know I am. But I love this dress. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to do the same as I did last time. I'm not going to do two tiers. I'm going to do one tier but make it midi. Um, so use up as much of this fabric as I possibly can. Uh, I'm going to do it short sleeved. Yeah, and one tier further down here, which is what I did with my last Lyra. And I love it and I wear it all the time. And I just think that would be really lovely for work. The only thing I'm a little bit concerned about is whether it's going to be a bit see-through or not on the old pants. I don't think so. I think some flesh-coloured pants and I think I'll be absolutely fine. Now, I have got the printed copy. This was when it first came out. Um, there are extended sizes in this now, though. I did write them down. Let me find it. <laughs> I'm a little bit organised. So it goes sizes 6 to 34, this one. Bust of 60, waist of 53 hips of 61 and I always size down in this one now if I was to look at this pattern now I would be cutting out between a seven and eight but I've actually all my other ones are a size five and they still fit me perfectly fine and that's because there's quite a lot of ease in the pattern so I'll just be making my standard size five size sorted so that's that one I think that's going to be lush right and then <clears throat> A new pattern to me. So this is another So Hayley Jane subscription box fabric. And I've had this from really, God, it must be a year or two maybe when I very first started subscribing. And it's this blue spot fabric. Now, I love it because it almost looks animal print, but it isn't. Um, 
and I just love it. It's very similar actually to the white one with the spots in it where it can look a little bit animal print, but it isn't. So it's on like a dusky blue background and it's got like blue, grey, pale blue and like almost like a maroony, dark maroony black splodge on it. And again, I got my colouring thing out. There's not that many blues in my colour palette when I look through it. But it does have like this warm, dusky colour. Can you see? Oh, there we go. So it's not far off that. So I think I'm going to be able to get away with that one. And with that, I am going to make the penny dress. And again, you'll see a £2 sticker on it. <laughs> and that is because, um, again, I bought this from my local shop, The Recycle Yard. Um, so this is a sew over it pattern. £2 I got it for, absolute bargain, because it was obviously free in a magazine. I think it was with Simply Sewing, it says. Yeah. And I just love the look of this. If you look at the line drawing here, you can see that it's cinched in at the waist with elastic. It's got a really nice collar with buttons down the middle. And then I just love it's like grown on sleeve. I have to be a bit careful because can you see here where it flicks up? That annoys me a little bit sometimes when I do a grown on sleeve. So I'm going to see what that looks like anyway when I come to do it. But I thought that was quite a nice relaxed style. And again, I thought that would be really nice for work. Now, you can get this online from Sew Over It, which is good. And it's from a size of 6 to 20 in a B cup and 18 to 30 in a D cup, which is good. And it goes up to a bust of 57 inches, a waist of 50 and a hips of 60 inches. So really good sizing on that as well. And the other good thing about this pattern is you can get an add on pack. Um, let me just I didn't jot down. So you can make this into like a tie front blouse. So you obviously lob that bit off and then you have um, an extra piece that you can tie here. So a bit similar to like the Gilbert shirt by Helen's Closet. Um, you can do the dress with a tie in the middle, which I really like the look of. So if I make this and I like it, I might purchase that add-on pack. I think it was £7.50. But, you know, £2, £7.50, you know, it's not the end of the world. And you can also make this into a play suit as well with the add-on pack. So I think for £7.50, you're getting quite a lot there because you can make a different style dress, a play suit and a blouse, a tie blouse. And I'm like, that sounds good to me. So... That is a plan. So that is three dresses that I can wear to work in the nice weather. So I need to just crack on with that now, don't I? I need to stop procrastinating, get on with it. Um, I just need to prioritise which one first. I'm thinking the Lyra, but we'll see. <laughs> right, so a couple of fabrics that aren't in my colour palette when I go through it, but I love them anyway. <laughs> was the most recent Think Pink subscription box. Now, white is one of my neutrals, so because it's majority white, there is quite a lot of lemon, I can still get away with it. And obviously, it's just so beautiful for the summer. And I knew if I put this into my stash, it would probably just stay there. And there was two metres of this fabric. It's Lady McElroy. It is absolutely stunning. And I just thought I would really like to make a summer top with this fabric because I just think it is beautiful. It is not the sort of thing I normally buy. I don't normally buy anything with fruit on it or any kind of themey fabric other than animal print. Um, so, but obviously I was really, really drawn to it. So I had a really good look onto Tintinet. So this is a cotton lawn for anybody who doesn't know. And I found this pattern. Hello. So this is it here. And I'd never come across this pattern company before. I'm going to try and say it. Shall I try and say it in a French accent? Les Lubiers de Cadia. Probably car crashed that moment, but, you know, I had to give it a go. And this is called the Faustine Top. Again, hope that's how you pronounce it. But there's two versions. There's a sleeve version and there is a sleeveless version. Now, if you take that away, it's quite a boring top. But then you've got this big party in the back. Look at that with the pleats at the back. I love it. Now, disclaimer, already started on this, nearly finished it. Loved it. French company, but they do have English instructions. And the instructions are fantastic. All I'm going to say, I haven't once scratched my head and I've been really enjoying it. And all I've got left of it is the hem. I'm not showing you it just yet. 
<laughs> so this comes in sizes 34 to 52 because it's obviously European. It is not the biggest size range, but not too bad for European because a lot of the time I find the European patterns are smaller. It only gives you a bust size on this because obviously it flares out quite considerably because of the pleats at the back. Um, so it's a four, it goes up to a 48 inch bust, which I know isn't that high, but it does have four inches of ease. So the finished garment measurement is 52 inches. So you may have a little bit of um, movement in that as well. But at the back, it dips at the back and it's got like a little square bit at the back and then the pleats that come down. So I'll hopefully be able to show you that soon anyway, because I've already started it. Check me out. So that's a make number four that I've got planned. Now, we all know I love double goals. We all know I love double goals pyjamas and it has got to that time of year where it is hot and I just love little shorts and top pyjamas and I love double goals and I'm reaching for my double goals ones constantly, washing them, ironing them, putting them back on again. So I kind of thought to myself, you need to make yourself some pyjamas. Now, I got this in a subscription box from Sir Hayley Jane quite some time ago and I love it, but the colour doesn't love me and I'll show you why. Do you see what I mean? Can you see the reflection on my nice double chin? Don't need that in my life, do I? But I'm thinking, I love it that much. Why not make it into pyjamas? Because I'm only going to be wearing them at night. No one cares. I don't. And I love this fabric. So this fabric here is so soft and it's got these gorgeous gold suns all over it. And I'm thinking this would be amazing to make some more double goals pyjamas. I've dug that out to do just that. And again, I'm boring. I'm going with something I've already made before. And that is the pepper. You can see how much I've used it. Look at the state of my envelope. <laughs> I've made it a fair few times. I'm going to make this, but cut these off again into shorts. So it is just a simple top and simple shorts. It sews up in next to no time and I love this. So this is from Peppermint Magazine. It is designed by Common Stitch and it's a free pattern or you can give as much as you like and donate on the Peppermint Magazine page. But I have, I've already donated towards this um, pattern quite some time ago and I've made probably three or four sets of these now and I love them. The most recent ones I made were my checked gingham flannel long pyjama bottoms um, that I made when I went away with the girls to Birmingham. Um, but yeah, I want to make some more short ones. So they've got a really nice deep pocket. They're elasticated round the waist. And then look at this top. I mean, can you get any more simple than that? No, you can't really. Um, it's quite cropped, so I do tend to lengthen it. Um, now, this goes from sizes A to K. That's how they do it. But the bust is a 67 inch. Uh, the waist is 55 and the hips are 59. So really good size range in that as well. Um, yeah, I think it's based on Australian sizes because I think they're actually um, Australian. But I love this so much. So I'm going to make that with this. So that is five subscription box fabrics. What do we think? Do you have some languishing in your stash? Why not join me? Let's do this together. But I am going to talk to you about one other thing, which isn't a subscription box fabric. But I'm going to talk you through it because it's something that I do want to make. Now, if my mum's watching this, mum, shove off for a bit, will you? Because I'm going to talk about you right now. Anywho... She probably isn't, so I'm just talking to nobody. But um, her birthday is in August, the day after mine. I obviously wanted to, the day before mine, sorry. I obviously wanted my own birthday, so I made her go into labour all day. But I didn't pop out until the day after, because I wanted my own day. God damn it. So, I always like to try and make my mum something. And I've had my eye on this for ages. Now, my mum, as I think you will know if you've followed my channel for any time, loves to knit she is awesome at knitting um and she's got like a small knitting bag and 
at the moment though she's started doing more adult stuff she always used to do like baby cardigans and things like that she started doing more adult stuff and she's made me things and she's making a couple of other bits at the moment and obviously it's storage when you're doing that and i think when you're doing a larger garment she gets a bit bored so she likes to do a bit put it to one side and then do a smaller garment that can be finished quite quickly a bit like us when we want a palette cleanser just do something really simple maybe that we've made loads of times before so she's struggling from a storage point of view so um i've had my eye on this pattern for ages and it is the grain line studio town bag and when this came out i don't i mean i'm not really into my bags as such but i was like i need that pattern i love it so much it's gorgeous so it's i mean there's not much to say it's got a drawstring here to actually pull it in it's got a pocket here and then it's got the strap webbing around here and there's i think there's the town bag and then i think it might be the city bag or something like that which is a smaller one and i thought this would be perfect to put some of her larger knitting projects into so she's got separate bags for what she's doing now then i went on to the little miss so and so um page website because i'd googled this and they do a kit which comes with the pattern and then you can pick a fabric from their website and they will send you all the bits that kind of go with it as well and i thought do you know what rather than try and buy all of the individual items i'm just going to go with a kit oh yes i am so when you go on to it um on the description page on there it says you can click on this link and you can pick any of the fabrics from this link and then just pop it in the comments section and we'll send it to you with coordinating accessories that they kind of pick for you and i'm like that sounds really good to me because sometimes I'm not good with choice. If there's too much choice, forget it. So I bought the whole kit rather than get it all separately. This, So it came all lovely packaged and it came with the pattern, the paper pattern. And I chose this fabric. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? So this is a stretch denim. So you can kind of make it with denim, canvas, that kind of thing. And there was some pattern ones on there and I always go for pattern, don't I? But I just thought, no, I want something vibrant that she can spot it really easily, but also something really nice and robust. So this is the denim. So I went for the fuchsia pink denim. Oh, I love this so much. So we've got enough fabric here to do that pattern. I haven't actually checked how much fabric there is, but it looks like there's at least a metre. And then they've sent me... What else? Oh, there was a thread. What have I done with it? It's here. You get the, the Gutterman thread that matches it, look, perfectly. How nice is that? And then you get the bag strap. And I love this colour. I wouldn't have chosen this colour. See, this is the good thing about like subscription boxes and doing kits and things and other people making the decisions. This is like, you probably can't see it very well. It's like a really light lilac-y grey sounds weird but put that with that it's gorgeous and then the cord that they've supplied is this like steel grey how nice do they look together i'm super excited to make this so that's what you got in the kit you got the fabric the pattern the thread the cord and then the the bag strap as well to go with it and i love the colors of these i couldn't decide it took me ages i had to speak to my colleague at work um i always make her help me when uh, help me when i'm making decisions on fabric and then i completely disregard everything she says and she's like why did you even ask me <sighs> i had to have a bit of backup do you know what i mean so yeah so all of those i can't remember how much it was i will put a description a link in the description box below if you wanted to go and have a look at it but they do all sorts of different bag kits and every type of thing you can think of so i'll put the information down below but yeah i'm gonna make that hopefully for a birthday so that will get be getting made hopefully in july well in time for her birthday so i don't panic at the end of it so how many projects is that that's six projects what do we think am i gonna get them done i'm gonna obviously throw a few little a few little cheeky things in there aren't i as i go along probably some stuff for my northern soul sisters and then the odd donny shirt something like that but you know 
I thought it would be quite good to start working through my subscription box fabrics because I'll be getting another two soon and then I need to decide what I'm doing with those. So yeah, join in with me if you wish. Put a little comment in the comment section below if you've got a big stash of subscription box fabrics and you want to try and start working through them as well and let's do it together. Let's do this. <laughs> I hope everybody's well. I hope everybody's had lots of time to sew and I'll see you again very soon. Take care. Bye.